Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing 10 college dorm essentials that I think you need. I just finished my first year at St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York. If you have any questions about my first year experience, I have freshman advice as well as everything you need to know about St. Lawrence and I will have those videos linked, but also feel free to ask questions in the comments down below. I was finally allowed to go back to my college dorm room a couple weeks ago and was able to move out most of my stuff and look at everything that I brought and see if I actually used it, was it helpful? and things like that. So I am only sharing things today that I actually used or needed. I try to think of some not so common essentials, but obviously you've probably heard some of these a million times before. I know that when I was doing my research for college, I watched a ton of different videos, hoping to just gather one or two new items per video. So I hope that you're at least able to hear about or learn about one or two items that you didn't know about before and would like to add to your list. If you would like me to film a video about what you don't need or what I brought with me that I ended up not needing, I can do that as well. And I can also share more college essentials that are more related to school supplies or different categories, but this is more specific to the dorm room. So without further ado, let's get started. One of the first things I bought when I was shopping for my college dorm room was a shower caddy. Um, I believe I got mine from JCPenney or Kohl's. Uh, I'll try to link it if I can find it. I remember I chose this caddy because it was plastic and so I knew that it would be easy to wash if I needed to. It's actually nice to be able to wash your shower caddy because I had a community bathroom and those bathrooms can get kind of gross at times so it was nice to be able to wash it. Mine also comes with a removable little basket which I put my toothbrush in, toothpaste, or other little things if I was making a mini trip to the bathroom and I didn't need my whole caddy. Yeah, so you're definitely gonna need a shower caddy. I prefer the plastic ones because you can actually wash them, but I know that there are tons of other ones out there and it's really up to you what style you would like. Speaking of community bathrooms and shower caddies, you also will need a pair of shower shoes. Um, mine, I also got from JCPenney or Kohl's, one of those and um, they were just on sale and I picked them up. I personally didn't like flip-flops because I don't like the way that they flip and they flop, but um, I liked these just fine. Uh, some people say not to get ones with holes in the bottom, but I like these because then you're not walking in puddles of water and it drains out fairly quickly. They're pretty basic. You can find them literally anywhere, ranging from like five bucks to $50, depending on what you wanna spend. I would definitely say go on the cheap end, as I mentioned, Community bathrooms can be a little disgusting and you don't want to be wearing a really nice pair of slides that you spent a lot of money on. The next thing that you're going to need in your room is a little bigger, but it is a laundry hamper. But this one I got from Walmart. I was torn between wanting to get a cute laundry hamper and functional laundry hamper. I know you can have both, but I ended up getting this one because it was relatively inexpensive. I ended up really liking it because a full load of laundry actually was a full uh, load in my laundry hamper, so it was really helpful. You can obviously get really cute ones, but I just decided not to, and I liked it just fine. The next thing that I would suggest I know is definitely too big for this, but I will show it in this following clip, is a drying rack. I started out with a relatively cheap one from Target that was plastic, and it broke a couple weeks into college and I kept trying to fix it and then it officially broke in like November or December and I could not put it back together. As my birthday present, my mom got me a new very nice drying rack and it was actually one of my favorite parts of my dorm room. This is what my drying rack looks like fully put together. It comes up to about my waist and then you just pull this middle part where you can see the hinges up and you push down and then it collapses to a nice size. And I just store it under my bed like this or left it in the corner during the day. I know that my roommate used uh, clothes hangers to hang up her towels because we didn't have towel racks in our room. Some other rooms at St. Lawrence do, but we did not. So I dried my towels on it, but I also, um, I wore quite a bit of dresses and skirts and then um, other things that needed to be hung in order to dry because they would shrink in the dryer. I was really glad I brought it. I know not everyone needs it, but if you are someone who needs to air dry a couple of pieces of clothing items a week, you're definitely gonna want it because you don't wanna have random pieces of clothing spread all over your dorm room, on your chair, on your desk, because it can get really annoying really quickly and your drying rack lets it be an essential place and keep the clutter out of everywhere. 
The next thing I would suggest is a little random, but it is just a bin full of stuff. I'm a fairly organized person, but even at my house, there's just a junk drawer. This is my version of the junk drawer in my college dorm room. Um, when I got to school, I realized I had quite a few random things that I did not have anywhere to put them. So my mom and dad made a quick trip to Walmart to get me a random bin. It's not really cute, but it just served its purpose. I kept random things in here like um, stuff to clean my retainer, Advil, extra toothpaste, extra hairspray, um, stuff like that because I had one of those three level storage containers you can get at Walmart but turns out I needed just another little bin to have easy access stuff that I would need fairly frequently and so that's what this bin's purpose was. And the sixth thing I would suggest was actually in that random bin which was like a mini first aid kit. This is just a pencil case that you can buy at Walmart and my mom put it together for me. It's a first aid kit slash just random things you might need. This is just my first aid kit so if you open it um, it's a little discombobulated and I actually had to take some of its stuff out when I came home, but I have Vaseline, um, I have cough drops, and lots and lots of band-aids because when I was on crew I got really bad blisters on my hands. There is a thermometer as well as some sterile wipes, some tape, tweezers, bacitracin, hydrocortisone. I have these clips to go on my hip and such. And then this is a second pair of tweezers. It actually came in a set of two, um, just in case I got splinters, which can happen. You never know. And yeah, so that's all. I had a couple other things in here, but I've since taken them out because I needed them once I got home. But that's a pretty good shot. I have so many cough drops because my mom kept sending them to me and I didn't know where else to put them. I realized a couple weeks into college that I did not have enough band-aids, so definitely make sure you bring band-aids. The next thing that I would suggest you bring is rags. I know some people bring paper dowels, my roommate included, but I really wanted to bring rags because uh, we don't really use paper towels often in my house, and so if there was a spill or anything like that, I would just use a little rag to wash it up, and then I, then I could wash it in the washing machine and reuse it. It was just my way of trying to be a little more environmentally friendly in my dorm because I know that dorms can be extremely wasteful. We did not have a compost in our dorm, which was a little frustrating, so that was my way of trying to limit my waste. It doesn't need to be anything special. I literally just got random old rags that my mom wasn't using anymore and I just brought two of them and rotated them. Next thing is not so environmentally friendly and I'm sure I could think of another way to make environmentally friendly by bringing my own cleaning solution or something. But I just brought a package of cleaning wipes. I just use these to clean down my desk, my dresser, things like that um, once a week because things got quite dusty or a little dirty and I just wanted quick solution to that. The next thing I would suggest is an umbrella. Um, this We got a decent umbrella. I believe it was from Walmart as well, but I will say we probably could have gone with a bigger or better umbrella because the few times I used it, um, I ended up getting my pants soaking wet, but I definitely suggest getting an umbrella. If you live in an area that rains a lot, you're definitely going to want a higher quality umbrella that um, or at least a longer raincoat, one or the other. My 10th item that I'm going to recommend you bring is a reading light and it just clicks on like this and it also is rechargeable, which I really loved. Um, I forgot that it was rechargeable and so it died on one of our trips to a regatta and I wasn't able to read on the bus, but I figured out after that point that I could recharge it. <laughs> I just got this random book off my shelf, The Glittering Hour by Iona Gray. Um, and I would just clip it to the back. This is obviously pretty self-explanatory. Um, I usually had it on the highest setting so I could read it just like that. Dorms are known for having horrific lighting. Um, so it was helpful if I didn't want to have the overhead light on or even if I did have the overhead light on, it wasn't that bright in my bed. And so when I was reading on a Saturday night or early in the morning, or I didn't want to disturb my roommate, I would just click this little light on and I'd be able to read because it lights up the pages really well. And you can tell when it's dying because it starts to become dim. So that's all for this video. I hope you found one or two of these essentials helpful for your next year at college. 
If you have any questions about St. Lawrence or my experience or just college questions in general, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I would love to answer them or even make a video if I think that is necessary. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe and I will see you all next week.